Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today, I want to announce it now on my channel. It's official. It's official. The Panerai watch market has collapsed. That's right. The used Panerai watch market has absolutely collapsed. Now, I've been warning about this for some time there. I have told you that a lot of the dealers in Hong Kong, Singapore, um, Bangkok are saying that the used Panerai market is, they're not taking them in, uh, they're not buying them like they used to, they're not taking them in as consignment, they are noticing a turn down, well, it's all over, Red Rover, I want to announce it here on my channel. The Panerai, the used Panerai market, which is very important because a lot of Paneristi, that's Panerai enthusiasts, they rely on selling Pan, their Panerais to buy the next purchase. And traditionally with Panerai, it's been a bit like the, uh, the Rolex Daytona market. You could do no wrong. You bought a Panerai, you, uh, you bought it in a boutique, you uh, kept the box and the papers, and you could always get your money back. You could get, well, most of your money back. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this. It's over, Red Rover! It's over. It's absolutely over. And let me tell you now, if you have a Panerai that is missing papers, doesn't have the correct box, you are screwed! Absolutely screwed. And uh, I, I got to tell you, it actually gets worse than this because uh, what's happened with Panerai, you have got some amazing super fakes in the market. So, you know, it, it, it gets to this phase where not only are the fakes, because Panerai uses a lot of ETA machines, nothing wrong with that, but they are so good it, you've got to go to a specialty thought forum to know whether it's real or fake. And don't, don't try and sell a used Panerai if you don't have papers, the box, or the shit that it comes with. Uh, preferably, you should have the sales receipt and credit card imprint. That's what they want. That's what the Paneristies are asking for. And uh, if you've got a Panerai with a white dial... Oh! <laughs> a white dial Panerai, man, that is poison. That is poison. The only thing more poisonous than a white dial Panerai is a Ferrari, Ferrari Panerai. Yep, I don't know what it is. Ferrari is terminal for a lot of watch companies. Go and ask Gerard Perigay. Go and ask them about their romantic relationship with um, Ferrari. And Panerai, even when the Panerai market was booming, Ferrari was terminal for Panerai. And I've, I've got to tell you, you've got a white dial Panerai in not fantastic condition, a bit scratched up, no box or papers. You are screwed. Absolutely screwed. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to scaremonger or beat up i'm telling you honestly i quite like the panerai brand but it is terrible it is absolutely terrible i mean you know i i kind of like the um the traditional the pam 111 or the 112 that you know basic panerais um i must say these panerais chronographs or gmt that's all bullshit type functions those are extra poisonous I, I think things like the Pam 111, that's probably, if you're going to get a Panerai, go for the classic interpretation of the Panerai. You must get black dial. I don't know what the hell it is. Why is white dial poisonous? But for Pam, Paneristes, Paneristes hate white dials. So stay away from that. And uh, I, I've got to be completely frank with you. It's... It's come out of the blue and bitten a lot of dealers on the ass. The Panerai market is is just just terrible. And don't even ask about if you've got a gold Panerai or a special edition. 
because a lot of those have had the ass fall out of they've had the dick they have had the dick and uh panerai i gotta tell you you know panerai big very big following in singapore it's uh dealers are not taking them on consignment anymore they don't want them they aren't selling panerai aren't selling and this was a such a and you know because the panerai market is all 20 somethings using their credit card to leverage these purchases there's going to be some huge pain and these people used to buy and sell panerai's they could move in and out very quickly without any grief now they're stuck on a lease and the market's collapsed i mean good luck good luck you Y Jenners, I, all I can say is it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. Okay, it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. But the Panerai market, it is, it is absolutely over. It is over Red Rover. It's over. It is bad. It is, it is toxic. It's terminal. It is, it is absolutely knackered. So, um, yeah, good luck if you're selling a Panerai at the moment. Good luck, but um, I've just announced it. The used Pan it's official. It's official. The used Panerai market has collapsed. It is over, and uh, time to get out if you can. If you've got an idiot friend of yours or an idiot family member who always liked your Pam, sell it to them now. Let them be the second last idiot. I'm Archie Luxury. Thank you for listening to this broadcast. It's with great sadness. I announce it's official. The Panerai used market has ended. See you later. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.